Hey, welcome back. Now I'm going to do a, a simple demonstration on a foghorn and a dog whistle. You might say, well, what do these two things have in common? Well, a foghorn is a device that was used a lot before to, in order to uh, warn ships in a foggy weather. It's a, basically a horn like this and it, it produces a low frequency sound and it enables the ships to be able to hear where the, the coast is, right? In, in, in a, even in a very foggy weather, they're able to tell where, which direction to travel and uh, the, it also warns them of uh, maybe bad weather and also uh, the um, uh, glaciers or I other icy debris in the ocean right and then the dog whistle is a very high frequency device it enables you to train your dog so I'm just basically going to illustrate these this one you blow on it you can really tell that it's very very loud it's low frequency and these were made very, very large on, on top of basically very near um, lighthouses and in, enabled the ships to be able to find their uh, place. In physics, we learned that the bigger the tube, the lower the frequency that resonates in that. So you can see that this is a application of a physics principle. The bigger the tube, you will create lower frequencies. Uh, the dog whistle is a very small, very um, short tube and in physics we learned that the short tubes produce very high frequencies. So basically you blow on this. And then there's a little bit of an adjustment. You can adjust the screw here, make the tube longer. If you make it longer, the frequency goes down. Now if I make it, if I make the tube shorter, the frequency is gonna go up. The manufacturer of this dog whistle says once you find the right frequency, um, depending on what kind of dog you have, you dip practice different frequencies and once you find the right frequency, you stick to that frequency and then you can, let's say you say this frequency the dog is responding to, then you can tighten the screw here and then that way you keep the tube at the, the correct length and then from then on, you always use that same frequency. And then the dog gets used to that frequency and does different tasks for you. Okay, so you can kind of see long tube produces shorter frequency and used in history for as a foghorn and a short tube used for a um, dog whistle for, uh, to produce high frequencies. Okay, thank you very much.